spell the decade. You're looking for besides of what's on the resources at risk, there's orcas out there. Both radar, radar imagery as well as a visual. So this is extraordinary. Point seven eight zero two one seven eight. How far is that from landfall? The closest land is a little over 40 miles. At the source, strong winds and high seas have transported the brown oil into very large windrows rather than a continuous brown plume, as seen on previous overflights. They would want some certainty in knowing whether it's going to be safe or not. So that would argue for a closure. But now we're certainly in an impact and a post-impact assessment. But the hope is that we'll be able to assess whether the different populations, different communities have been impacted adversely by the oil whether or not the population is increasing, decreasing, or remaining static. The parallel effort involves actually collecting small we tissues. We have some unique capabilities to analyze seafood tissues for the presence of hydrocarbons that might potentially come from a spill. So we brought a team from Seattle down to Pascagoula to work with the seafood safety specialists here to sort through the baseline samples that are being collected as part of this initial effort to ship samples back to Seattle so that we can work them up for analytical chemistry. I'd like to take a look at the, the ways to impact the culture here in South Louisiana that's so tied to, to our coastal resources. Coastal mapping and aeronautical survey, they keep our nautical charts up to date. Down here is to really address this question of submerged oil. The way to do that is with the CTD, with that rosette goes over the side and you sample the water to make a measure. The Exxon Valdez spill, that oil spill, taught us that the developing embryos in fish eggs are very sensitive to very low concentrations of oil. Vegetation in the salt marshes, it's uh, smooth cord grass, Bartana ultimiflora, uh, black needle rush, Juncus mermerianus. These are vital components of the marine ecosystem. The estuary depends upon the primary production that's exported from these marshes, the shrimp. Fish all utilizes as part of the estuarine food web. 